in Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please kneel for the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Virgin and Mother of God, I surrender myself to you as your child, for the honor and glory of your purity. I offer you my soul and body, my mind and senses, and entreat you to obtain for me the grace to keep me from sin. Amen. Mother, here I am your child. Mother, here I am your child. Mother, here I am your child. I have placed my confidence in you and shall never be confounded. Amen. Please be seated. Today is July 7th, 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We often seek God in the spe spectacular. The sun rises and sets every day, attesting to God's providence. But we prefer to look for God in the dancing sun. We pray for miracles of healing, and all the while, God heals us of our bodily and spiritual ailments through the sacraments and the health of loving people. For a, me for a more meaningful celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we encourage everyone to actively participate in the responses and singing. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Dodong Cleofe, CMF. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. to the banquet of God, our God who embraces all people, our God who gathers us all of humanity, and calls us with passion and joy. Come to the peace of our God, our God who In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, we come here, we gather here, because we respond to God's call. We come home, our home is in the love, in the heart of God, in the love of God. As long as we experience, we are here in the home, in the heart of God, God will always accept us and have, He will never reject us. We some, we some sometimes there are moments in our life that we reject the person of Jesus and his message. Let us now acknowledge our sins 
and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. of your Son have raised up a fallen world. Feel your faithful with holy joy from those you have rescued from slavery to sin. You bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking, 
say to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, And whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord pleading for His mercy. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord pleading for His mercy. To you I lift up my eyes who are enthroned in heaven, as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord pleading for His mercy. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord our God, till He have pity on us. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for His mercy. Have pity on us, O Lord, have pity on us. For we are more than sated with contempt, our souls are more than sated, with mockery of the arrogant, with the contempt of the proud. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for His mercy. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this that I might leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast most gladly of my weakness, in order that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when, for when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus departed from there and came to his native place accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been, has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, Joseph, and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus was rejected by his Kababayans. Our gospel is taken from Mark chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Jesus went home and it was supposed to be a joyful occasion, a happy reunion with his relatives, neighbors, and friends. But it was not because they did not accept him. We may ask, what's the problem of his Kababayans? What's the problem of his listeners? Why did they reject him? Why did they, they not take him seriously? The problem was, was their lack of knowledge of Jesus. They just relied on the family background of Jesus. They said, is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and his brothers and sisters are here with us. Yun lang ang alam nila. Because they didn't know the progress and development of the person of Jesus. How he prayed, he listened to his father for a longer period of time listening to his father and obeying the will of the father. His Kababayan did not know that. And they could not know that unless Jesus would reveal to them. And the saying that there could be nothing good that comes from Nazareth is very strong in the consciousness of these people found in John chapter 1 verse 46 this is said by Nathanael to, to Jesus while well, Jesus grew in wisdom and found the favor with God and people his Kababayans are stagnant in terms of knowledge about Jesus. 
For them, a carpenter cannot become a prophet. To continue this reflection, my brothers and sisters, allow me to focus on three points based on the gospel. First, Jesus did to continue his mission in his native place. Second, ignorance of Jesus can make a heart of a person hard. Third, Jesus reveals to us as a prophet. And the fourth part I will offer for our own reflection on spiritual growth will offer some questions personal questions for our own spiritual development and growth first jesus continues his mission among his kinsmen I am very, every time I go home in my place in Bohol and given a, an opportunity to, to celebrate the Mass, mas natatakot ako, mas ninerbius ako. It's more difficult because your audience is your kababayans, they know you. They know your childhood years and some of them are sensitive. If they hear some words that are not pleasant to their ears, uh, then they would say, Pinatatamaan ako ng paring ito. Kala mo naman hindi ko siya kilala. That's why, my brothers and sisters, I can relate with the experience of Jesus. For Jesus, he would exercise his being a prophet and preach the truth to his kinsmen because they need to hear the saving message of the kingdom of God. They should have rejoiced hearing new things from Jesus and watching the relative speaking with authority unlike the usual rabbi that they hear in the synagogue. But it seemed that the, the Jesus person and message is too much for them. Hindi nila matanggap na kanilang kababayan ay isa ng magaling na propeta. And then, Jesus, kahit bakasyon, He continued to preach to His kababayan. Later on, we will know who the prophet is according to this gospel, according to Jesus. The second point is this. Their ignorance has made their heart hardened. They could not accept that a carpenter has become a great prophet, now ministering to them through words and deeds. It was supposed to be a moment of grace for them, and they could have received that special grace had they showed their faith in Jesus. They were just ignorant about Jesus. What a waste of opportunity on the part of the people. And what a painful experience on the part of Jesus. I may ask you, my brothers and sisters, how many of us here who attend the Mass and go home as if nothing happened. If you are asked, what's the homily of the priest? 
You cannot tell your the people in your home. Why? Because you may you might not listen attentively, or your mind is out, or your heart is already hardened like the people in the time of Jesus. We have to remember that every time we celebrate Mass, we listen to Jesus and we should put all our attention to the words and participate actively in the celebration. The third point is, Jesus reveals himself to us as a prophet. We know this evening who a prophet is through the experience of Jesus. A prophet is sent by God. Jesus was sent by a father. He could not do things of his own without the permission of his father. He was always sent by his father. And he knew that of this long period of prayer, listening to the will, listening to the words of his father. And this time even as he had to rest for a vacation, he was still sent by the father. A prophet, a prophet preaches the word of God to all people. Walang pinipili, including his kababayan. If Jesus preached the word of God to other parts of Israel, he did not want that his kababayan will be left out. They should also listen to the words, to the message of the kingdom. And third, a prophet will experience rejection. Note that it was only when he experienced rejection from his kinsmen that he claims and, he de and declares himself as a prophet. To believe in a prophet is to accept the person of the prophet and believe in his message. Rejecting a prophet is rejecting God, the one who sent the prophet. Remember in our, in our first reading from the book of Ezekiel, the last part says, For these rebellious people, a prophet, they have to remember, they have to be aware that a prophet, a prophet is amongst them. That is just the start of the redemption. You have to believe the person and the message of the prophet. Kaya wala nagawa si Jesus ng mga maraming milagro sa kanyang, sa kanyang bayan because they did not believe, because they rejected Him. And remember, Jesus is more than a prophet. Last part. I will pose some challenges for our personal reflection and spiritual growth in our relationship with with Jesus. Question is, gaano ko kakilala si Jesus? If somebody approaches you and asks you about Jesus, and asks you who Jesus is for you, what do you say? What is your answer? And if you feel that you lack knowledge about Jesus, what am I going to do in order to increase, in order for me to grow in my knowledge of Jesus? The second question, what are those moments in my life that I rejected the person of Jesus and his message? Am I humble enough to admit this sin? And ask Jesus forgiveness. The third is the prayer. Our Lord Jesus, we believe you. Increase our knowledge of you so that our faith in you 
may be strengthened. Amen. Let us all rise and recite our creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for as man and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that we may be open to the desire to commune with us every day of our lives as we say, Lord of life, be our strength. Lord of life, be our strength. May the church become channel of grace and strength in times of weaknesses and tribulation. We pray. Lord, Lord of, of life, life, be our strength. May all public servants in government promote human dignity in the policies they implemented and the services they render. We pray. Lord, Lord of life, be our strength. strength. May all who experience all sort of oppression and discrimination be consoled by your loving kindness toward the people around them, that they may find ju the justice they seek. We pray. Lord of life, be our strength. May all who have gone before us, especially our loved ones who have recently died, be welcomed into your promised par paradise, we pray. Lord of life, be our strength. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord of, of life, be, be our, our strength. strength. Heavenly Father, in times of weakness, we find strength in you. Hear our humble petitions and help us become one another's strength as we journey back to you, our beginning and our end. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them off to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took that chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. There we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony, Mary Claret, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus 
Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been, re having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. First, the Parish Lay Formation Ministry is inviting everyone, especially the youth, to its formation talk for this month of July with the theme, Eucharist Miracles, focusing on Blessed Carlo Acutis, who is known for his deep love for the Eucharist and the Blessed Mother, and is said to be canonized next year, becoming the first millennial saint at the age of 15. The talk will be on July 13, Saturday, 4 p.m. at the main church. The speaker is Kendrick Ivan Panginiban. The talk will be followed with the enthronement of the image and a relic of Blessed Carlo Acutis. The relic will stay at the parish until July 20. Several panels depicting the various Eucharistic miracles will also be on exhibit for the same duration. During the week, there will be a daily praying for the Holy Rosary, benediction and prayers to Blessed Carlo Acutis from 5 to 6 p.m. Everyone is encouraged to actively participate in these activities. Second, the Kabataang Claret is calling on parishioners of all ages to join us from an existing exciting clothing swap party on July 14, 2024 from 12 noon to 3 p.m. at Bulwagan Claret for a registration fee of 100 pesos. Swap pre-loved clothes and enjoy simple snacks and refreshments while supporting our parish delegation to the Claret Youth Camp and Claret Way Asia East in Ormoc Leyte. Visit our booth at the church entrance and check the Kabataang Claret Facebook page for more details. Third, we are happy to inform you that we are able to raise a total amount of 302,442 and 75 cents during our recent fiesta fundraising activities. On behalf of the Parish Pastoral Council, we would like to extend our sincere gratitude to all our PPC leaders, donors, and sponsors, and dear parishioners for your support and generosity. May our good Lord and our Inang Huwaran, our Blessed Mother, bless us all. Last, may we invite those who will celebrate their birthday or anniversary this month of July to please come forward for a special blessing. May we invite those who will celebrate their birthday or anniversary this month of July to please come forward for a special blessing. Thank you. Please come. Oh, uh, make it a pastor. Ngala na ng mga tanganak ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Ang ating tulong mula sa Panginoon na may gawa ng langit at lupang. Panginoon mo namin Diyos, nandito ang aming mga kapatid din na nagdiriwang ng kanilang kaarawan ngayong buwang ito at uh, special na okasyon na kanilang buhay, anibersaryo at iba pa. Lord, ibigay niyo po yung special na panalangin sa kanilang buhay. Pagtibay niyo po sila sa kanilang pagsunod sa iyo. Pagtibay niyo po, tagdagan niyo po ang kanilang kalaman tungkol sa iyo na uh, po ay bigyan niyo po sila ng kalusugan ng pangangatawan at isipan at nang patuloy silang makapaglingkod sa iyo, sa iyo at sa kapwa. Maghihuwaran na sila ng kanilang pamilya at patuloy nilang sila magbibigay ng magandang halimbawa para sa iba sa pagsunod sa iyo, sa pagsunod sa iyong kalaoban. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo sa panalangin ng mahal na Biring Maria. And the blessing of Almighty God come upon you the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that in this life's journey, you may be attentive in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.